Hey River Chase, I hope you're doing well today. It's another warm and humid day since that rain has been coming through. Um, and you know, I think it's kind of funny that most people don't really like the summer in Alabama. They think it's too hot and too humid and I get it. It is pretty warm out here, but I love it. I have always loved the summer because I'm a cold person. Even in the summer when it's like 100 degrees outside, I'm going to always have a jacket with me to go to the movies, to go to dinner, to go to church, because I know that I will always be cold inside. And so I love just being able to walk back outside and for the warmth to just um, to hit me in a beautiful way. And so I love summer. But I don't just love summer for the warmth. I also love the bright green that is around on the grass and in the trees. I love getting to look up and see the sun and um, the clouds, how they form different shapes. And I love getting to see the flowers everywhere and the animals are everywhere. And so summer is just a really beautiful time to see the Lord's creation um, in, in its life right and you know when we think about it every single season gives glory to the Lord we can see God's beauty and imagination and creation in every single season so in the fall um, that's coming soon that the days get a little bit more crisp and the uh, the trees turn from this beautiful green to these these vibrant yellow and orange and red and then the leaves begin to fall like rain. And when they fall to the ground, it's almost like it's a whole new world. We can't see the ground like we did in the summer, but instead we see leaves everywhere. It's, it's almost like majestic. It's very beautiful. And, and then as the days continue on and on, the days get a little bit shorter and, and they get a little bit colder and almost a little bit cozier. The, the sky becomes this gray white which can almost be a little sad but um, there's still beauty in the winter uh, you know just because the leaves have fallen off and the trees look dead we can now see God's uh, intricate creation of these trees and of these branches that you know in the summer we can't see the 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 branches as well because there's so many leaves covering them. But in the winter, when the leaves have fallen off, we get to see how the Lord wove those branches together and how he created each tree uniquely. And then sometimes in Alabama, we get to see the beauty of snowfall. We get to see the white flakes fall to the ground and um, create a winter wonderland. And um, you know, Oftentimes in winter, like in summer, people get really tired of those days very fast, you know. In summer, it gets hot and, and gross, and then in the, in the winter, it gets really cold and gloomy. And so we long for the day, and the day always comes when the hope of spring arrives. When the first flower blooms, or the days become longer, and the sun begins to shine through, the, the trees are no longer dead, but life comes through and the, uh, the beauty of life arrives. And these seasons and how God um, shows his creation and, and his imagination in every single season also gives us so much hope that God is faithful to his promise. You know, God promised that he would keep the seasons and he has spring summer fall winter it continues on and on and god has been faithful so that we can eat the food that we need and and be protected from the weather and spring always gives me so much hope because just like the the leaves coming back and the, and the flowers coming back remind us that the death of the tree is not final so too death on this earth is not the final word you know god has brought us life yes there is death in this world we've got covid right now we've got cancer people are growing older and so death is very daunting but 
it is not the final word because our God has brought us life. And just like the sky, the gloomy white gray sky can never hold back the sun forever. So too the darkness and the brokenness of this world will never overpower our King. The Jesus Christ, the very Son of God, will shine bright and will shine brighter than our sun ever could. There is so much beauty in creation and creation will constantly proclaim God's name every day. We only have to look up and see it. So as you go outside today, River Chase, I pray that you would see God's beauty. I pray that you would see his faithfulness to his creation and know that you are his creation and that he is faithful to you on a daily basis, even when you do not notice. I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't always look at the trees and think about God's goodness. But when I am reminded of these things and I see how he is good to his creation, to, to, to the world, to, to the earth, I am then reminded that he created us intimately. And so if God is, is, is faithful to the earth, God is going to be faithful to us. So as you go out today, River Chase, I pray that you would see God's goodness that you would hear his love for you and that you would learn to proclaim God's praise as the trees and the grass and the flowers proclaim God's praise. I love you, River Chase. I hope you have a great day.